We love the RV life. We've been on the road for almost three years now. Yes. And we love the RV life. However, we do not love everything about the RV life. <laughs> no. You may have noticed uh, some other logos on our intro, and that's because we are in a collaboration with five other channels. We're talking about RV topics. This is gonna be a series. So like once a month, you'll see a video that we put out. The other five channels are gonna put out the same exact topic, but they're gonna give their take or their spin yeah, different on perspective. what they think. Yeah. And so this is the very first one, and we're talking about the things we hate about RVing. Okay. All right, as we go, you will see the uh, the logos and names of those channels underneath us. And uh, after you get done watching us, look down in the description of the video, you'll see a link to their channel. Pop over, watch their videos, and see what they hate about RVing. Okay. All right. What's the first thing you hate about RVing? Travel day. Travel day sucks. I hate travel days. Now, I know some of you probably love travel day, and, and it's not really it's not really the, the, the moving part of it that we hate. We like seeing different parts of the country. Yes. We like being on the road. I'm just not a fan of the process. No. I don't like packing up and three hours later bringing it all back out. Yeah. I would like to just... Be there. Be there. I'd like somebody <laughs> else to take it, take it down, move it, set it up, and I can yeah. just show up and be ready to live It's in like it. when, you, when you hear people say like, um, I wouldn't tell anybody if I won the lottery, but there'd be signs. Signs, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> somebody else would move our stuff for us yes. every time. We'd just, Absolutely. We'd just be there. <laughs> Moving day sucks for us because that is when you have the highest potential for stuff to break. You have all these moving parts and pieces. You're hooking up your truck to this thing. You're putting weight on your truck. You're moving it down the road. You're potentially running over obstacles. And and one of the worst parts about moving day is you gotta you gotta do the tanks. And you know, travel day isn't really just travel day. It's a travel process that that takes place over a couple of days. So there's a little preparation you gotta do the day before. We do all of our tanks take down all of our leveling stuff, take down all of our crap inside, get it all ready and prepared to move. And then we got to set up everything inside of the, the truck. We got to get the, the GPS ready. We got to plug in the coordinates. We got to get our rear view camera set up. We got to, and we got to make sure that we have everything on our checklist checked off before we actually leave. And even if you do it all right and correctly, that is the highest potential for something to go wrong. So that's why we hate moving day. So now that we've established that travel day is not our favorite what else do we hate about RVing? inclement weather Ooh, inclement you yeah, look at you you use a big fancy I, words yeah, like me. <laughs> inclement weather <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to use fa one fancy word a day yeah and, and i hate it worse than you do yeah i don't know why but i just i don't know i get this is our house man if it blows away we don't have a house yeah, I mean that part of it is, is is frustrating and scary, but I think I don't mind it so much because I grew up in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. Storms are part of your everyday life in Florida. Yeah, and we actually like thunderstorms. We like the lightning and the thunder and all that stuff. What we're talking about is like tornadoes, hail, Hurricane. wind. Yeah, super strong wind. Yeah. And some of that you can get out of the way of, some of it you can't. Flooding. <laughs> um, so the stuff that you really can't get away from or predict, that's the scary, scary stuff. Yeah. And I did something crazy the other day. <laughs> I risked my life. No. No. <laughs> Just for you. No. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about. No. No. <laughs> One of the things that we absolutely hate about RV life are days like this. Right now it's just a thunderstorm. But later today, there's threats of high wind, hail, tornadoes, and um, <laughs> man, it is really coming down, and it'll rock your RV left and right. Sometimes it even feels like your RV is just gonna fly off, man. But um, right now, not so bad. But what we really hate is those tornado warnings, those tornado watches. When that, when that that radar starts turning really, really red, it starts getting pretty scary. You absolutely need to know where the nearest shelter is because there is no place safe in an RV. So this is one of our major, major hates 
about the RV life. Let's go inside and talk about it more. I almost died. No. <laughs> that was actually just a regular thunderstorm. It, it did build up stronger after it got past us. It did. And got to, into some tornado yes. type activity and stuff. But as it passed through here, it wasn't that bad. But I just wanted to go out in person and show you how crazy it can get outside. And so, yeah, tornadoes, number one. Yeah. Worst. Absolutely. I think that's probably the thing out of the whole list. I think that's the thing that I hate the most about our game. Because they can show up with little notice. Yeah. Little to none. In the middle of the night, some places yeah. you're rural, yeah. there's no sirens that you can hear. Um, and, and sometimes even if you have it on your app, maybe it doesn't wake you up or whatever. I don't know. But tornadoes are super scary. And they and sometimes they don't even show up on radars and they can just like build over the top of you and just, you know, and then you're gone. I mean, we just saw one recently where it picked up an RV and tossed it into a lake. Yes. So, yeah, there's no safe place in an RV. So that's definitely one of the scariest yeah. things. And if you're traveling in the middle of the country, during like the spring summertime frame, it's inevitable. Oh yeah. You're gonna get some strong storms. Somewhere along your route, you will. And you're just gonna have to deal with that. It's part of RVing. Yes. So, um, I will go ahead and talk about the third thing that we hate about RVing, and that is rude people. Lack of camps ground etiquette. And respect for others. Yes. So, it doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter if you go to a regular park, a military park, Corps of Engineers. It's everywhere. State Park, National, it doesn't matter where you camp. There are rude people. There are people who are gonna just be a-holes, man. Yes. They're not gonna pick up their trash. They're not gonna pick up after their dog. They're not gonna watch their kids. They're not gonna stay out of your sight. They're just gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff. They're gonna burn stuff during a burn ban. <laughs> They're gonna stay up late partying. They're gonna you know, get ready at four o'clock in the morning under your bedroom slide and have a whole full-on conversation <laughs> yeah, i mean yeah. that's just the reality of it yeah there's gonna be stuff that's gonna tick you off yeah. and you're gonna have to bite your tongue yes just to to be cordial yes and you're just like you know what i'm moving whenever or they're moving or they're God. moving whenever <laughs> and eventually it'll be gone yes so you just got to deal with that in short short spurts yes now i will say this the majority of people are great. Yes. This is the, the minority of people the that we're talking about. People. The small percentage of people who think about only themselves and care nothing about anyone else's experience. As long as they're having fun. Their experience is way more important than yours. Yes. And they don't care if they disrupt your good time. You are correct. At all. <laughs> that's the kind of people we're talking about. Yes. So that's very frustrating. Yes. So those three things. Travel day. Inclement <laughs> weather. <laughs> the word of the day <laughs> and a-holes <laughs> yeah. anyway that's our list that's our three things so yeah. make sure after you get done watching this go down in the description look up those other five channels mm -hmm. pop over because their their video came out the exact same day same time as ours yes we haven't even seen it yet now as soon as we get done here we're gonna go over and watch it mm -hmm. because their list is probably different than our list I'm sure it is and if you watch all these videos you can get a good idea of all the bad crazy things that can happen to you while you're RVing yeah. but I will say for the most part it's good yes but we wanted to highlight the crazy because it's it's part of RV life yes yeah well like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero mm -hmm. if you want to get involved with helping us help vets everything you need to know is down in the description below make sure you pop over and watch those other channels we appreciate you watching see you next time bye, bye.